Hey everybody, Spoonhead here, and I'm with another distro, this time with a new GNOME 3, so not the GNOME 3 panel, but the GNOME 3 distro, and it's uh, XTix uh, Linux, uh, it advertises itself as the ultimate Linux desktop application program, of course, why not, uh, it's based on the latest Ubuntu, uh, the same as uh, Linux, it's also you based on the latest Ubuntu, and uh, hybrid, or I should say hybrid, is uh, based on the latest Kubuntu. So, just so you know, uh, there are 12 or 4 ones. Uh, this is a different. Ooh, that's nasty. No vector graphics there. Um, this is a shame that they don't have any icons. And that it now disappears behind this. Thing right here, that's weird. Right. Must be my system. Um, here we got the same. See, this is what I hate. I mean, you got this awesome looking background the, with cool icon set here. You know, it's black and everything. This is uh, a little bit grayish, but it, you know, it kind of works um, um, with the background and that being black and. So how do I get this thing to work properly? Like that. So, so that's cool. But then you get this application menu and it's like this white that doesn't... This is just weird. They should find a solution for that. Anyway, we got uh, Games Finder. I mean, that doesn't sound well correct. Internet. Oh well, yeah, we got the same very slim choices of tools that get booted up at the first time well that's fine at least it has opera on there i mean that's that's something that all other distros don't have i mean this one chooses opera and firefox you don't really see the significance of that but opera is a it's one of my favorite browsers of all time it has become one of my favorite browsers of all time uh, it doesn't work like that um, this is full screen. Uh, so it loads that and that into there. Oh my god. My video card is so... So not well. Um, it looks to be a bit big. Uh, oh, that's too bad. Normally this is not in there. Like that and that and... God knows what else. Hmm. Something I'm not very fond of is it has this in Linux. Well, anyway, this is Opera. And this is X6. I don't really have much to tell you about it. Why don't I have Finer in there? And I don't have a terminal. Oh, this is a horrible terminal. Uh, as you can see, it's based on Ubuntu, and I'm running the 64-bit one. Uh, it's x sticks and what else do I want to do? I thought I'd include this in, in like more videos. I mean, it gives you uh, some sort of overview on what the system does and can do. And as you can see here, I've got a gig again of memory. And it already used up a quite a lot. And it cached and buffered already a lot of some. So it is heavy on the resources, but um, yeah, you uh, you know if you just install this on a system, you, most computers nowadays this is like basically aimed at the newer computers, and not as much as the on the old ones. Um, and it's running the new kernel, as I said, 2.2.0, which is the standard kernel for um, Ubuntu 12.04. And I haven't done Ubuntu 12.04 yet, even, so I might as well <laughs> do that now, uh, in, in, um, after the, all these videos. Uh, something else about Ubuntu, um, it's not the only distro out there, of course, um, yet the direction they're taking as, like, as a company, as Canonical, is pretty cool. I mean, they want to bring out a mobile OS, they want to do it on TVs, you know, they want to basically give you 
open source everything. Which is pretty fucking awesome, I must say. On that note as well, um, Mozilla is going to make a mobile OS as well, called Boot to Gecko. Yet with Mozilla, I feel a little bit of trepidation because they are becoming big friends of Google. And I'm not a fan of Google at all. Uh, I'm not a fan of any company trying to expand their realm so the only option is to use their products. That's not what um, I'm for. And on that note as well, on the same note, we have maybe hopefully a very cool new tablet OS called um, Spark. It's not a tablet, it's called Spark, but the OS it's running is Mare, and that's based on the open source version of Migo, which was coming from uh, Nokia, I believe. I believe, but I'm not sure. And the specs for the tablet are not that great, as it were, but I think if they see that a lot of people want to buy this for because it's only two hundred dollars and for a tablet two hundred dollars and and you get an open source one in which you can do pretty much everything you want i think that's going to sell really well like the raspberry pi and uh... there's um i think asus yeah asus have, uh... they they released oh no via sorry via released a new um like Raspberry Pi kind of thing, but then way more expensive. So uh, that's it for all the knowledge I have on the news of the co well last couple of weeks. I think it has already been yeah. Um. Yeah. So try out X6 if you want it. If you don't want it, then just well you've at least seen it. 